Hi and welcome to Place of Tactics by Kozo R. Today's video I'm going to talk about the wingbacks. What are the wingbacks? Wingbacks are the wide players in formations that uses a neck array such as 352 or 3412 formation. When defending, the wingbacks drop back either side of the three center backs to form a back five. When attacking, they move into the middle line or even further forward to provide their team's attacking width. So, what do wingbacks do when their team is in position? As the wingbacks are usually the widest players, their aim is to stretch the pitch, provide the team's width and give a passing option for the team to build up and progress around the opposition. They will then need to get into advanced positions to put crosses into the penalty area here they bend the balls into the space behind the opposition defense from deep or get near to the byline to cross or to cut the ball back to an attack the wing backs on the opposite side of the pitch will often stay wide to receive switches of play but they can also attack the penalty area targeting the far post when crosses come into the box from the other side this can give teams a great present in the penalty area while the wing backs can also sweep up if any crosses are overheat it is becoming increasingly common to see wide rotation involving the wing backs this could lead to the wing back moving infield to attack through the inside channel a wide forward number 10 or a center forward then a rotate out the narrow wing backs can e then then either look to get on the ball between the lines while a central middle folder runs beyond the opposition or the wing backs can run in behind themselves so what do wing backs do when their team is out of position a wing backs out of position job will vary significantly depending on how their team is set up of play if their team is pressing high the wing backs can be a key part of that press usually jumping out to the opposition full backs or wing backs to press in white areas the far side winger back may then narrow to reduce the space the opposition has to operate in if their team is set up to drop into a lob or mid block or simply after the initial press is beaten the team is forced back the wing backs recover into the back line to form a unit of five with a third center back present the wing backs can individually jump out of the back line to engage the ball more freely than a full back would be able to in a back four although full backs are like to be placed on one on one situation more frequently wing backs still need to be able to defend one on one they also need to show good awareness to track runs across goals especially any attempt to move on the blind side of the nearest center back that's for today don't forget to click the subscribe button like share and comment see you in the next video bye